to my uh, fish tank. Publishes an article. Uh, I was actually kind of bored, so I decided to put toys in there. A Pulitzer Prize winning and journalist. It just not, it turned out good, but you just have to see it. It's kind of funny. for me to be working in this area. But actually, uh, Peter Davenport of the National UFO Reporting Center called me in early November of 2006, uh, shortly after this alleged sighting at O'Hare. We were able to rule out very quickly. These are all aviation professionals, ranging from pilots to... Uh, that fish is messed up. Somehow uh, it's swimming sideways. We were very concerned, both from a if potential see safety it. and potential security. From here, you can see it probably really good. Look at how it's swimming. It's like swimming John's sideways. Reveals that at some I'm not sure PM, if it's because the, the light is really bright. It's been like this the past maybe a week, and, but somehow I thought it was dead. But somehow it's still the alive. He tells but, the oh well. Inside the plane. Walks outside of his office, See? and he too supposedly sees the disc-shaped object. So yeah, and I'm um, actually watching two pilots parked at a gate. Also report seeing. Also watching the UFO minutes. hunters. The disc accelerates up. And because you know, I got nothing else to do. I watch a lot of other TV shows, so yeah, pretty much. I'm losing my mind. I've been up all day today, so take care, guys. See you later.